the one of the main not <laughs> getting into the next story one of the main things that we wanted to talk about was the the dating scene that's happening in the united states and this actually is coming from the uk but it just goes to show the west okay i shouldn't say the united states it's western world dating is what we're really dealing with so this woman and her infinite uh wisdom of things ha- she's 36 years old single mother wanted men on hinge to s- write a 500 word essay to weed out the competition basically and also to see if they could actually do it and not waste her time she wanted to uh, them to explain how you will not waste my time that was the the thing that she wanted them to do was uh, tell me how you're not going to waste my time in a 500 word essay so go to her picture real quick and i'll tell you how back back to it okay and just pull up her picture down there all right okay yeah that that, that, i want to see her teeth though what's she hiding no, she, Why she, isn't she showing she her teeth? She doesn't show her teeth. It's just that. that yeah, straight, so she's that hiding smile. something. All right, that's one red flag. Red flag number one, sir. Red flag number one. What are you hiding? Now, I, I don't know, man. It is it is the uh, Western dating scene mainly because a lot of Western women have gotten away from traditional values. It's this modern feminist movement that yep. has created this. And there's a lot of podcasts out there that, that the question manosphere. these women. Yep, yeah. they question these women. Like, okay, why does a man have to do X, Y, and Z to date you? Mm-hmm. And they always talk about because I'm a boss and bled and my, my my looks and all this stuff. And I'm a boss, babe. You you gotta you you're gotta, boss. I gotta have a high value man. Yeah, they want a high value man by being a low value woman. You know what I mean? You can't you yep. can't sit up here and expect to meet a high value man and him to take care of you and do all this stuff for you when you're when you're low value. You know what I mean? A high value man yep. wants a high value woman and your definition, what you consider high value. That's on you. You yep. know, everyone has their own definition on what they consider a high value person. But women like that. And I'm not knocking single moms. I'm just putting things into perspective. She's a mm-hmm. single mother. She's 36. You know, yep. so you're expecting a high value man to come into your life, be dad, but you expect you want to you want him to write out an essay on why he should <laughs> why you should let him date you. No, he's mm-hmm. just going to go to the next woman and date her. They're not dudes. Real high value value men aren't going to waste their time writing an essay for you. Nope, they're not. I tell you that right now. I mean, I'll kick rocks. You, I can imagine some stupid boot wanting to do that. You know what I mean? Like that's that's a that's a private thing to do. Like, oh man, I really think this chick is hot. I'm gonna go in there and write a five paragraph order just to see how <laughs> like awesome I am. Yeah, her. you remember that Eminem Stan? He's sitting mm-hmm. there. Hey Stan, I just writing this letter to tell you. You know what I can just? He just sitting there and <laughs> yeah. looking at pencil, and it's dark, and you got this light over him, oh, and he's writing man, his that's... letter. Nope, that's that's definitely that is definitely what's happening with like could you imagine being so like desperate for Putang to write an essay? I mean, I I understand doing it for college cuz you have to, right? Yeah. Nobody wants to write an essay on their free time. Not a no. single damn Sucks. person in the world. A normal person does not write want to write a five paragraph essay or even a 500 word essay to date you. Like, who wants to be did that was not in the right mind who wants to be gr- grammatically correct all the time i don't i like you know honestly there's it. probably just some guy that went into chat gbt and just like here write me something for this and yeah. he sent it <laughs> to be it. or not to be that, that is, the is the question oh, romeo actually, that actually romeo i mean lot. and you're right there's probably some freaking simp out there right now lonely and you know he's gonna write the letter. What what is her criteria of outside of a five hundred word essay? I just it was the it was the how to not waste my time. That's what it was. Okay, so she's willing to take some guy who can barely get out of bed. That's five hundred pounds. Smells like schmegma, but he's a perfect writer. Schmegma, God, dude, that's gross. That's what she'll get. You know, that's the type I. I I'd have fun okay, with her. Okay. Let's let's have fun with this. Uh since we're we're on the topic of that, since I have chat GPT, let's bring it up. And let's do this. So let's see if we can get chat GPT to write a five hundred word essay for reasons to I won't waste your time dating. So like let's see how we prompt this. Um 
let's do write a 500 word essay for reasons. All right, let's just say reasons you should date me. Mm, this ought to be very, very interesting. And how? Uh, yeah, just I won't waste your time <laughs> like I'm doing right now, wasting my time. All right, let's see. Oops. Let's do it. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, chat TBT, why, why you got to do me like that? It's really doing it. That's some creepy stuff. Is that a no, free app? It, it is. Uh, but no, that's not that's not what it is. It's it's telling it's giving me a lecture instead. Like it says, as an AI language model, I don't have the ability to date anyone. However, I can provide some insights on what makes a good partner and how one can avoid wasting their partner's time in a relationship. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god wait it is, is that it, it, hold on is that a website yeah it is it's called chat gpt yeah you, have you never used chat tp i've never used it because it kind of uh, it kind of freaks me out a little bit okay, but i'm so gonna start let, let, i'm gonna have fun with it while doing a little 420 later oh <laughs> no, yeah this is this is great uh so instead instead of that why don't we just read what chat gpt's relationship advice for people is when it okay. comes to dating, the most important thing to be genuine and honest with your partner. It's important to be yourself and try not to pretend to be someone you're not. That's actually pretty decent advice. Yeah, that's okay, right. Let's keep going. People are attracted to authenticity and are and being true to yourself will make you more attractive to potential partners. That's actually I agree. good advice. Okay. Additionally, being honest with your intentions and what you're looking for in a relationship can help avoid wasting your time and your partner's time. Also, good advice. All right, this is surprisingly helpful. Another important quality in a partner is being respectful and considerate. This means being attentive to your partner's needs, desires, and feelings, and doing your best to accommodate them. I have no arguments there. That is all good. <laughs> this is actually probably better dating advice than I've received from some friends. That's true. <laughs> it also means being open to compromise and communication and being willing to work through your conflicts in a respectful and constructive way. Uh, okay, that actually brings up a really good video I need to bring up right now. Uh, so we'll come back to this. And what ChatGPT is saying is good information because this next video will make you understand most people today do not share the same sentiments as uh, ChatGPT. Uh, you have never seen this video, so this is going to be a cold one for you, my friend. So check out this crazy chick. Oh, help me! I wish you would help me, Carlos. I wish you would help me. You, you, you look stupid and confused the entire time we're here. And it's cool. Well, I'm American and I don't understand a single word that he says. Why? Sorry, sorry, son of a bitch. I hate you for doing this to me. This is my first flight. Run. <laughs> All right, so the, put that into context. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know. It's apparently her first flight, and she was just going off on her partner. Okay, like, that was her partner. Not, that was her partner. That was her boyfriend. And He's got to be miserable. Oh yeah, but that that goes back to what we were talking about with uh, Chat GPT, and you know, being constructive. He and he communicating look, in a constructive way. <laughs> that dude is better than me. I'm telling you right now, because she would have been sitting right there at that airport by herself. I'm like, I'm going to the bathroom real quick, and I would have bounced. <laughs> I got in the next flight out of there, man. If I, it's, ain't, it's I don't insane. have time for that. I'm telling you right now. I don't, I'm, you want to sit here and act a fool and may embarrass me? That means you know what mm -hmm. she is, right? When, when Usually when your partner or your friends embarrass you in front of other people like that, yep. that's some narcissistic. That's another red flag. It's red a flag. definitely red flag. Walk away, men. Or ladies, walk away. Right. Uh, so I, I want to read the rest of what ChatGPT said for relationship advice, because this is actually pretty good. In terms of reasons why somebody should date you, it's important to showcase your, showcase your positive qualities and what you bring to the relationship. This could include things like your sense of humor, your intelligence and wit, your compassion and empathy, or your adventurous spirit. It is also important to... 
highlight your interests and passions as this can help you connect with potential partners who share similar interests. Mm. All good advice. So chat GPT has better relationship advice than most therapists. <laughs> That's if true. You're looking, if you're looking for a serious relationship, it's important to be clear about this from the outset. This will help you attract partners who are on the same page and avoid wasting your time with people who are looking for something more casual. That's true. That's kind of creepy. I know, right? Because that's almost what I'm looking for in a partner. Right. You know what I mean? Everything they, she, or it, whatever the heck it is, <laughs> this Terminator program, freaking Skynet <laughs> name. Well, that's, that's why a lot of people are going to AI girlfriends. Like that's mm -hmm. a whole thing where people are sure. getting AI girl girlfriends because they're, they're better partners than actual women <laughs> today. And, <laughs> and I'm glad you said that because it's mainly men who are doing it. It mainly is. Mainly men. Or passport bros. They're, they're yeah, passport bros. Like there's men that are just fed up in the West. They're like, man, I'm tired of these loud, in your face, super independent. Mm -hmm. da, 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 da. Well, look, if you're so independent, why are you yelling at me? Because something could get done. Do it yourself. You're independent, right? Miss Independent, get it done. Miss Independent. Yep, get it she done. Get it done. She can you know what done. I mean? I don't mind I'll independence. I, I, you know, I think independence is sexy. But mm -hmm. if you, if you're one of those ladies that has to use that as a badge, as a badge of honor, I'm independent. <laughs> and you're throwing it into your man's face. You're pretty much telling your man you're too independent. You don't need him, and you're with him only for convenience or whatever other reason. Because right. you're independent, you don't need him. I'm, I'm I, I don't get downs like that. You know, I'm pretty independent myself. Two independent people can meet in the middle and be like, we can be independent on this, right. but we're together on this. No, that it makes sense. I, I get you, man. And that's the way it should be. Let's so uh, let's scared. continue on. I want I want to finish what else it has on here. Additionally, being clear about man, your love. expectations and boundaries can help ensure that you and your partner are on the same page and can build a healthy and fulfilling relationship. Mm. Yep, this is good, good advice. To avoid wasting your partner's time, it's important to be respectful of their time and energy. There's a key mm. point right there. Time and energy. Don't waste time. There are you a know, lot of people that waste you can't time. Get time. You can't get time back, man. That's huge. Mm. Time loss, is, you'll never get that time back. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I don't know. Is, is chat, is, she, is, is it single? <laughs> right. I'm sure I might you, have I'm to sure switch up. One. There's, there's going to be a chat GPT like dating bot eventually. Start dating. I'm going to talk to Google later. Be like, Google, tell me something nice. Tell me, tell me, tell me I'm sweet. Tell me tell I'm me awesome. I'm a nice, sweet person. Right. I okay, can so see why guys are, man, I can kind of get it. You know I what I mean? I, I, I think it's a little weird. I would never date AI, but I can kind of get it. I like human contact. You know what I mean? I yeah, like being yeah. the touch. There, there's feel, certain man. things you can't get through AI. The smell, you know. The smell and just I like it. <laughs> I like it a lot. The pheromones I need it in my life. I I, I need actual people. That's, that's yeah. the thing. Um, where was I? This means uh, this means being punctual and reliable and mm -hmm. honoring your commitments. It also means being considerate of your partner's needs and desires and making an effort to meet them whenever possible. Communication is key here, and being open and honest with your partner and your abil uh, availability and priorities can help avoid misunderstandings and conflict. I think that's good advice for most people. I think a lot of people waste each other's time by mm -hmm. playing stupid games. And men and, and women both. That's very good advice. I'm going to have to... I, I pulled chat GPT up right now, so when we get off, I'm, I'm going to be asking it, it all types of questions. But yeah, the thing it, is, one thing that this AI didn't bring up was respecting boundaries you no, know what did, i mean it because did, it did say that oh it didn't oh see yeah, did. that thing is huge it's smart yeah yeah it's like, uh, yeah being respect uh, there was one section in here it said that i i'd have to go back and find it but i wanted to, to finish uh the rest of it which is uh ultimately the key to building a healthy and fulfilling relationship is to be authentic respectful <laughs> and considerate by showcasing your positive qualities being clear about your intentions and respecting your partner's time and energy you can build a strong foundation for a lasting and meaningful relationship. So that, mm -hmm. my friends, is ChatGPT's advice for the rest of us <laughs> on dating. So the and AI some, understands us better. And some people, I mean, you could write a book. You can take that and write a book with it. 
Oh, because there's a lot that. of people out there that are just for me being single i'm not really in the dating scene you know what i mean mm-hmm. i don't i don't do all the apps and uh, whatever they're called to tenders and plenty of fish and all that shit yeah. i used to but it's it was I boring back in the day it was a little better but now it's just yeah awesome. and it's boring but a lot of people get on these apps and they put on a front like this mm-hmm. the ai was saying they're not showing their genuine self so a lot of a lot of people in the dating scene get disappointed because people are putting on a fake a front and then when they meet him in person they're totally freaking different <laughs> right. and that's why a lot of relationships decline because you wasn't who you said you was so if people are just genuine and show who you really are and you know especially for the ladies don't always have a filter or makeup mm-hmm. on your face 24 7 because that's telling me that you're hiding something. <laughs> you know right. what I mean? I, I, I actually agree with that. I think a lot of relationships today is the the reason they fail is a lack of respect, boundaries. And then also here's another thing that I, I think is true that people miss out on is the fact that don't mistake boredom for being having a peaceful life, right? Just because things seem boring, that just means you are at peace. You are mm-hmm. in a peaceful relationship. And there's a lot of things, the problem that happen is people men and women get bored and they mistake that boredom for having a peaceful life. Yes. And that's, that's where things go awry is because you think you're bored. You do things to spice things up or you get into an affair or you do something you're not supposed to. And it ruins your relationship when you were already at peace, you found the end game, right? You beat the game. All you had to do is just coast the rest of the way. And then you ruined it for yourself because you thought it was boredom, which it wasn't. It was just, you were comfortable. Mm -hmm. It was a peaceful life. And and peace is like one of the biggest things for me when it comes to relationships. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm I'm already at peace right now. I'm at peace. I'm at peace with my life right now. I'm improving, though there there are improvements. And of course, I'm constantly trying to improve myself. But I'm at peace. I don't need someone coming into my life bringing chaos. And that's happened to me before. You're already at a level to where you're peace. You're comfortable with everything that's going on in your life. And then this person comes in and just brings all this chaos and it disrupts your peace. And then yeah. your life becomes chaotic. Now you're in a situation where you don't know how you're going to get out of this situation. Yeah, you can walk away. Yeah, you can run away. Yeah, you can do that. But now you have all this chaos in your life and you can't really recover from that. Even if you break up with them, you you still can't recover because what that does, it changes your outlook on. I'm talking from a man's perspective. It changes my outlook on women in general. You know, you can come at me as this nice, peaceful person, loving and all this. And then the minute they got you, a switch turns. And now you're like, what the hell did I get myself into? Right. So you, you have to be you have to bring peace to especially the older you get. Like I'm middle aged. I don't need somebody that's running around pinging off walls every day, wanting to go to bars every weekend, wanting to just go, 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 go. No, chill. You know I mean? Yep. This is my piece right here. Exactly. But, you know, no, I'm, I, I'm attracted to the you. mind too. just to throw that out there. No, I, I agree with you. Like they, you should be each other's safety and security and peace. Like you shouldn't, you shouldn't bring the outside world into your safe place, your castle, right? When you come home, you don't need somebody on your case 24-7. That's not a peaceful life. If you can sit there and do nothing with each other and just, like, be comfortable, that is the end goal of a relationship is being there for each other and supporting each other. Mm-hmm. Not when not when things are good all the time, but when things are bad. Just being there sometimes is enough for some people, and it should be. Like, just being there should be enough, and being comfortable with each other is enough. That is the ultimate goal of a relationship. And then also just respecting each other don't do things like one of the ultimate for me the ultimate test of a relationship is if you could trust a person that person with a secret of yours and they won't use it against you in an argument right the first time that happens with somebody you're dating don't date them anymore drop them because that shows the lack of respect for them if you can keep the secret and keep your mouth shut about it and tell nobody and even don't even use it against them that is a sign of a healthy respectful relationship Red it doesn't have to be something bad either. It's just something that is in, like is important to you, right? That you trust them with that information, that they won't use it against you. That's exactly. How you that. And you know, for me, like I said, I'm you know, you we've known each other for what six years, seven years. Yeah. 
I'm, I'm very much a homebody. You know, I'm like one of those real chill, man. I like just, I like to chill. You know, I, I like a chick that can sit at home all weekend and we could sit there and watch movies all weekend in our pajamas and just enjoy each other's company. Yep. Or we can flip it and go out on a town or whatever. But I, like I said, I just don't want somebody who's just always has to be doing something, always has to be out, always has to be out and about, you know, every once in a yep. while I enjoy doing that. So a lot of times when you try to meet somebody, you really have to, to match because that's crap opposites attract. Man, I, don't, I don't believe that anymore. <laughs> no, I don't believe I don't that. So you know, you really have to be in line and in tune with each other on a lot of levels. And the levels, looks, education, intellect, you know, music. I mean, all that stuff plays a key mm -hmm. part in a relationship. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it, it's hard out there in these streets. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It's hard. For, it's hard for some people. And I'm not even looking personally. Mm -hmm. uh, do I have a couple of crushes, a couple of people that I'm like, oh, that's she's attractive. Yeah, of course. Am I going to bite on it? No, I'm not. You know, I'm, I'm not I'm perfectly happy in my marriage. And I am terrified to date right now. I, I would be too. like, you. I, I've already told my wife if like anything ever happened to either like her in our relationship, I, I probably wouldn't date anybody again because I I'm done. I, I know what my peak happiness is and I don't want anything else. And I'm fine with it. Yeah, that's me. And I'm not,